I remember doing a story on a guy in Black in America, one of the later ones that we did, who had just gotten out of prison. And he was living, the point of this interview was that the guy, it was just going to be very hard to stay out of prison. He made $10 an hour working at the Salvation Army. And he didn't have it. There wasn't enough money to be able to afford internet. The only way you could get a job, it was kind of at the beginning of, you know, the only way you could apply for a job was to have a mailing address and internet. That's how people, you know, no, you don't walk up to stores and hand them your resume. And, and I remember watching this producer and I actually, we had to go reshoot it because I remember thinking like when you opened his cabinets, he just had stacks and stacks of 50 cent macaroni and cheese. He had four kids. Like that's all they ate, just mac and cheese, stacks and stacks of it. It was just stunning. And I just remember thinking like this producer doesn't want to understand this family, you know, mm -hmm. that they kind of just shot it and not like, like show us what's behind Show me what's in your cabinets. Show me if you have anything in your fridge. Show me all the dirty dishes in your sink. Like, show me the chaos and the inability. There's no way he's going to be able to stay out of jail. He cannot possibly make this math work. I could tell that from the very beginning. And three days before the doc aired, the guy was found. Uh, they participated in a home invasion. He ended up going back to jail. Um, uh, he wore very, um, he had kind of jeans that had a very like swirly thing on the pocket. And I remember seeing it in the video that they showed me of the home invasion. I'm like, oh gosh, yeah, those, those are the jeans he's been wearing over the last couple of days. Um, you know, but to understand people's story, right? You have to actually like dig into it with them and you have to, you have to care about people who are homeless or struggling. Like you have to want to be in it with them. Uh, I'm always a little bit surprised at how much people hate poor people and how much people hate people who are struggling, um, sometimes even journalists. Um, and so I don't, I don't hate poor people and I don't hate people who are struggling. I'm trying to understand it, you know, but, but I thought, I, you know, you have to shoot those things in a way, right, to tell the story of why this isn't going to work. You have to show the bills. You have to show the internet. You have to show um, just the impossibility where we all know, like, and then you create the sense of foreboding of it just can't work. It cannot work. So when he's found later to be going back to his old ways and doing a home invasion, cause he can make a chunk of money. It kind of makes sense. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So we definitely, you know, I, I, I really took those on very personally because I thought they were important and I thought they didn't deserve the shorthand yeah. that they deserved, you know, a really in-depth look. And I think it's what made those docs very good, but it was a lot of work. And sometimes you're working, you know, uphill against, you know, people who maybe didn't want to do the work of it. 